What comes to my mind when I think about anger is a movie called Inside Out. This movie features a young girl, Riley, who had to move from Midwest to San Francisco due to her parents' job relocation. This movie shows how Riley's emotions conflict and her, her emotions of anger, fear, sadness, disgust, and joy collide inside her. It impacts her relationship with her parents and friends. Her fear of moving to a big city came together with her sadness about being separated from her friends. A combination of fear and sadness caused her anger. Anger is not only one of the seven deadly sins, but also a natural expression of our emotions. Anger is there inside me as well. When I try to hide it, I'm not really successful at it. Anger does not stand alone. Anger is often triggered by fear, sadness, and resentment. And I get spilling over and leaking and steaming, steaming of anger. And anger, according to my friend Rick, is everyone's favorite, but people won't admit to it. If anger is something that we cannot avoid, we have to learn how to live with it and possibly how to channel anger in positive ways, in God's ways. This Sunday, we'll be looking at anger and its relationship with divine anger. I'll see you this Sunday at church.